Darlington is now the cutoff race. Daytona is now the penultimate round. Watkins Glen's in the playoff. Atlanta's in the playoff. Texas is in the spring. Richmond's on Easter night. Let's talk about all the changes for the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. All right, let's go through all 38 races on the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. 36 points paying races, two exhibition races. I'm not going to stop and talk about every single one, but I will stop and talk about the ones where there are changes in the schedule. Let's get into it. All right, the first notable change on the schedule comes in the second race of the season where we see Atlanta move up to the second race of the season behind the Daytona 500. That means we're starting the season off with back-to-back -back drafting tracks. The owners can't be ecstatic about that, but it is what it is. February 25th, though, eh, weather in Atlanta could be a little bit iffy. It'll be interesting to see what it's like when the series gets there. Bristol dirt is gone. Bristol returns to the concrete spring date on March 17th. It still feels very early to have that date. Honestly, Bristol's spring date should be closer towards the summertime because March 17th in Bristol, likely going to be cold, still a chance of snow, probably not going to be that great for ticket sales. And then they're going to say, hey, look, didn't sell enough tickets. We're going to have to move this date to North Wilkesboro in 2025 or the fairgrounds. Never, because that's not ever happening. Richmond's spring date is now on March 31st. That's also Easter Sunday. So instead of having the Bristol dirt race on Easter Sunday like we have the past two seasons, it will now be Richmond's date. It will also be a Sunday night race with a 7 p.m. green flag. It would be interesting to see how that performs. But both of Richmond's races in 2024 will be at night. Texas moves from its traditional fall date in the playoffs up to April 14th in the spring. Will it make the racing any better? Probably not, but this is also the reason that any car can't race there anymore, which is unfortunate. But it does give them a solid 18 months if they do want to reconfigure this track and put it back into the playoffs in 2025. Turns out if you build it, he slash they will come. It might just take almost 20 years because the Cup Series is headed to Iowa on June 16th. This date was supposed to be for Montreal, but NASCAR and the Canadians couldn't come to an agreement and fake France decided to drag out negotiations so long, NASCAR had to just pull Iowa out of its back pocket and its ISC portfolio and send the Cup Series there. This will be a Sunday night race on NBC at 7 p.m. Brett Griffin's not going to be happy about this because his narrative proved to not be true, but the Chicago Street Race is back on the schedule in 2024 on July 7th, that 4th of July weekend. NASCAR and the officials from the city of Chicago have had really good discussions, and the city of Chicago put out a statement as well talking about how NASCAR uh, is going to shorten up the amount of setup time and also speed up the teardown time to not disrupt traffic as much, and they're going to do more in the community, which is always good to see. NASCAR also has a contract in place for 2025 as well. We'll see if that happens. The Brickyard 400 returns in 2024 for the 30th anniversary of the Brickyard 400. If William Byron wins, well, then maybe you can say NASCAR is rigged. But it is exciting to see the Gen 7 car back on the oval at Indianapolis after the road course proved to be a bit of a dud all three seasons that they ran there. Here's where things get a little bit skewy. Daytona moves from being the cutoff race of the regular season to now being the penultimate round of the regular season on August 24th. Penultimate means second to last. Darlington now moves from being the first race of the playoffs to the last race of the regular season, thus being the cutoff race on September 1st, Labor Day weekend. This is all because NBC needs to pause everything they're doing in America for two weeks so they can go cover the Olympics in Paris. 
Because of that, there will not be a NASCAR Cup Series race from July 22nd until August 11th. They need to take those two weeks off, which has also pushed the season back an additional week. And we'll talk about that in a minute. The playoffs also look a little bit different as well. Atlanta number two moves from its July date back to the playoffs. It will now be the first race of the playoffs. Watkins Glen moves back a month from August into September. It will now be the second race of the playoffs. It'll be really interesting to see how the campgrounds look at Watkins Glen being a month later and all these kids being back in school, but NASCAR decided to go with it. The Roval keeps its now traditional spot as the cutoff race of the second round. What I think is very interesting is that in the first six races of the playoffs, you have two drafting tracks in Atlanta and Talladega and two road courses in Watkins Glen and the Roval. Four pretty specialized racetracks in the first six races and four potential wild cards as well. NASCAR is all about the drama. And the season will now end on November 10th instead of the originally scheduled November 3rd because NASCAR did not want to do any midweek races or a doubleheader, which they had kind of thought about doing with Richmond, having a Thursday night and a Sunday doubleheader for the Cup Series. Ultimately, they decided against that and just decided to move the season back an extra week. Not 100% sure if that's the best move there considering you're competing with football and going further into football seasons. Probably not the best move, but they probably talked to NBC, who are smarter than you and I, and said that, hey, the ratings will likely be better if you push this all back and don't run a race on, you know, a Thursday in June or whenever they were going to do the Richmond doubleheader. So that is your 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. I'll also be back to talk about the Xfinity and Truck Series schedules as well. Not a ton change there, but enough to, you know, warrant us talking about it. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at at break hard blood.